Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmas. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So in this video, we are not going to write code and say essentially, we are just going to go ahead and uh, test what we want to do manually. So we already said that what we want to do is first click on bank manager. Then the first thing is we want to add a customer. So we'll call this um what do we call it? John, let's say Gomez, Gomez, and uh, let's put a zip code, mm. zip code, depending on where you are, uh, let's call a zip code, mm, let's say SK3, um, SK37BA, yeah, something like this. I hope you remember that. So we add this as a customer, and it says it has already been added. So our next step is verify that that customer was added, right? And as you can see, John Gomez is added. Then we can go ahead and open an account for the customer. John Gomez and the currency is um, the pound. This is the pound. Then we click on process and it says it has uh, processed it and there is an account number. So which means you can go back here and customer and confirm that there's an account number created because it's returned an alert that it was created. So now the last part of it is we now click on this and we delete that customer right so these are the things that we want to do so let's begin so in the video in in in, in our script what we are going to do is uh, we are going to structure it in such a way that you will be able to you would not need to reuse some steps you would i mean you would need to reuse steps rather you would not need to rewrite it that's the word you will need to rewrite some steps so take for instance in all of these tests what we want to do is first launch the page we want to first launch the page click on this then add a customer successfully then once we have add the customer we want to verify the alert message that we get. Let's let's add the customer again. John Gomez SK three seven B eight. I think we want to add this customer. We have to verify this message, right? We have to verify the message, and when we verify that message. We need to come to the customer's uh, um, list and um, see that the customer exists in the list. The name John Gomez exists in the list or the postcode exists in the list, right? We need to do that. Then, afterwards, we have to launch the page again because what we want to now do is, after adding the customer, we want to open an account with the customer's name. So we put this and we add the pound, then process that. Then we verify this too and also come into the customer's page and see that that account number is also added, right? So once we've done that, the third test will be to come back to the page, click on customers and delete this particular user. Then verify that the user no longer exists. Now, with this being said, with all this being said, what that means for us is this. We are going to launch the page three times to write three different tests. First test is to add the customer and verify that the customer is added. Second is to open the account for the customer and verify that the account is opened. And the third is to come back to delete that particular customer. Okay? So what that means is that in our code, we we'll need to visit three times. So it means our visits should not even be part of the code. 
and um, also we should, we also notice that once we launch the page we have to not just visit we also have to click our bank manager login button to write all those texts so which means that those two things are a prerequisite it is common to the pay test you have to get to the home page then click on bank manager login to begin your test so it means we don't need to write those two steps three times what we just need to do is we create a hook and we call it a before each so we change our if block to a before each so this we just not run anything right now because it doesn't see that hook as a test it's right the before hook, before each hook that we've written only works under the hood so we create a new it block so in this new it block that is where we begin to do the fun stuff right so it means in this first it block which we'll come back to do in the next video we will do create customer right this is what we're going to do in the next video as you can see we are still using all the cypress commands we've not begun to do anything in terms of typescript when we begin to um, introduce custom commands in our code we begin to do some things and i will be we we'll begin to show how that is done in typescript so in the next video we'll create a customer and would and in the videos that will follow it too we would uh, also create um, an account create an account and uh, in the last video let me just copy and paste this then change the name on it then let me also do it one more time so create an account create an account then delete will be the last one so for just illustration sake i will just add something here just a cy log um customer created customer created well let me just copy and paste again yeah this is good account created and um here customer deleted good it gave me a good suggestion for it so now if i open this you see what happens three tests are running if you, if i try to run them again as you can see three tests are running and for each one of them the page is loaded and the bank manager is clicked so this explains what i said the before each hook runs under the hood so before each means that it will run before each of these eight blocks okay so we've been able to create the skeleton for our test and in the next video we will be writing the actual test so what we are going to be doing is we're going to break down the test steps into three parts essentially first part is to collect the elements and put them in the cy.fixture folder in the in the sorry in the fixtures folder rather and we'll use the cy.fixture to reference them in our code while the next video that will follow that is um to actually write the test itself so if we make some verifications in the test and to add some chainable commands into the test while the third one will introduce us to custom commands and why people prefer it over page object files well why they prefer it to creating page object classes and referencing them okay so thank you for getting this far and see you in the next video Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.